Yep. I get change. Do you know how to use a pistol, by the way? Yeah. Aeolus? Yeah. All right. So I have a pistol and I have no particular knowledge on how to use it anymore. Um, I've, I've got a carry permit for it, so I will carry it for the moment. But okay. if we get into a situation, I'll pass it over to you. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, because... I'm going to also grab a shower because I smell of dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you've been in the kitchen. <laughs> yes. Uh, right. Uh, his clothes are a bit big on you because it's either that or change into your dirty ass clothes. Uh, fine. It, it, it looks like somebody dressed up uh, uh, a kid in adult clothing. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just say I lost weight. Uh, and height. <laughs> That's how I'm going to diet. <laughs> uh, no problem. You dress the uh, five foot nothing Chinese guy in the six foot tall Caucasian guy's clothes, and by God, you're good to go. Just roll up them pant legs. Um, <clears throat> does he have any decent knives in the kitchen? Ah, uh, sure. All right, yeah, okay. He's, got, he's got your selection of uh, D4 knives and one D6 knife, which is a big fucking chopper thing for vegetables. Yes, that's the one I want. Unfortunately, they're, they're, they're and, a big wooden block thing. And you slide yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to get some newspaper and whatever and wrap it around with some masking tape or something like that. Done. You make your own one-use one sheet out of it. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. And yeah, I'm also looking to see if he's got any satchels or bags like that, and think whether or not he's got anything like that. Yeah. Uh, any yeah. bottled water, anything? I'll take bottled that. With us water? Well. No. Uh, there's a yeah. faucet. Beer, yeah. And beer, yeah. Sure. I'll take one of those. All right. Do we want to get some sleep? I wouldn't mind some sleep. I need my magical juju bag. Mm-hmm. You guys are feeling rather tired. You've had a big night. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been shot, dragged myself down the alleyway, smashed a car. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't you, I'm but tiring. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, sure. We'll go sleep. Yes. No problem. Cut to. You guys are both sleeping. Uh, one of you is on the uh, couch. Uh, before going, I was going to say before going to bed. I'll go downstairs and make sure the front door's locked. <laughs> Done. No problem. It's morning and you hear a bell go, meh, meh. Oh, hey, we're closed. <laughs> I'll get up and have a look. Uh, you see two kind of bulky guys in suits and stuff. You're looking downstairs. From yep, 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 yep. And they're looking up at you. Your first thought is hired goons. Mm -hmm. They look super unfriendly. Why am I yeah, related yeah. to all of this? You're on the couch going, go away, we're closed. <laughs> all right, so here's the gun in the magazine, in the spare magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. No. <laughs> I did the same thing to him yesterday. You should have seen the look on his face. <laughs> Oh God, that is great. No, I, I will I will go down as well, but I'm giving you the gun and the magazine in case right. it comes to that, all right? I'll, I'll I, let, hide it behind my back or something. Or if you want to keep out of sight and get ready mm -hmm. to come out if, if things go badly. Is there any way for me to hide? Well, I mean, just, in, just at the door, you know, like we both go down the stairs together and then yeah. you wait in the stairwell okay. behind the door. I'll, keep yeah, I'll leave the door. I'll leave the door half open, so that you can be behind the door, but you can move around it, or use it as partial covering. But you'll actually will be able to still hear what's going on. Okay. Okay. Yep. More uh, heavy ba bashing on the door. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. I, the coin. The coin. Yes, I was going to put the coin somewhere. Yeah. Put it. Yeah. Where? I'm not, as in. I'm, you hold it, Freddy, for the moment. Oh, uh, me? Okay. Is that what I'm going to the baby? I mean... No, because if they decide oh. to grab baby and run, because they know the baby's got it, All right. 
I'll stop with my pants on. Dog, every no. time you say his name. Yes, I'll, I'll go downstairs and. <laughs> okay. I'll, right. I'll, no problem. I. You answer the door with him lurking on one side, ready to. Yeah, he he's not at the front. He's not at the front door. Ah. He's at the stair door, the okay. door that goes upstairs. Got so it. he's inside the office. Because the front door, I assume, is glass or something anyway. So he's not going to be. He's going to be fairly obvious. No problem. You answer the door, and one of the goons goes, "Mr. Bishop would like to find out if you have considered his offer." You hear a car coming fast down the street, and they glance over and they go. Oh, I've seen to have dropped something, and I'll bend down. <laughs> no problem. Uh, they they're quickly moving off. A police car skids to a halt in front of the place. Oh, like like I was expecting someone drive by opening fire, which is why I was going down. <laughs> Got it. No problem. <laughs> the cops put it in park. Two cops jump out, come running up to you. Hello? They each grab Hello. one arm and rush you over toward the police car. The uh, what's going on, officers? No time, one of them says. And uh, they toss you in the back. I put the gun behind. <laughs> I put the gun like, in my pants and like, run out and say, Mr. Mister Dick, wait, you have an appointment. They, the police completely ignore you. You see him in the back seat looking at you like... <laughs> <laughs> and they get in, they and they're driving off at like stupid speeds with the fucking lights going. What do you do, Freddy? Um, uh, what kind of um, what police call it? Uh, what police station is it? That sure, the sure to? Uh, station. All right, I'm gonna go and find the uh, call a taxi and. Uh, Right, so you go over and you pick up the phone, and you don't know what the taxi's number is. And then you look at this huge stack of books. <laughs> There's yellow ones, and brown ones, and blue ones, and a bunch of different white ones. And you're like, ah! You hear the uh, car skidding around a corner outside. Uh, well, I can't run off that car. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just find the taxi. In this book. No problem. Uh, taxi yeah. Give me a research roll to find uh, the taxi things in one of these horrible books. Aha! You find there's a lot, there's like four different taxi companies and shit, and you begin calling them, and they're all telling you between half an hour and 45 minutes they'll be there. Ah, uh, uh, that will be fine. Yeah, no problem. They they pass the police station and it looks like they're heading out of town a little bit. Okay. What the Are they heading towards where the um, car accident was? No. Okay. Well, but then again, they also didn't frisk me or anything like that. So no. Or handcuff me. No. So, I'll go back just a sec. Okay. Okay. Now is a perfect time for you to eat because... Yes, right. All right, so I, I am not feeling too concerned mm -hmm. because if it was something pretty bad, they would have made sure I wasn't armed or anything like that. They, they're they taking you to a warehouse-looking thing, kind of on the outskirts okay. of the they... Is there chatter on the radio or anything? Are they talking to each other? Nope. Just eyes forward. Okay. They squeal up in front of the warehouse. They come sorry, the re the, sorry, I was going to say, the reason I was asking if there was chatter on the radio, I'm trying to work out if it's a real police car or not. Um, Give me a law roll for law enforcement stuff. As in L-O-R-E as opposed L to L-A-W? L -A -W? Uh, law. Who can say? Yeah, that's right. That's what I was asking, like, if there was a police radio which had chatter oh, on it sure. indicating... Well, there, indicating. there is. There is. They've got some, like, the normal cop chatter, but they're not talking yeah. to anybody. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 more, yeah, so yeah. give an indication. Okay. I get you. Yeah, take card. That's clever. They, yeah. 
squeal up outside the warehouse. They get out of the car. They The car's still running. They come take you out, pretty much pick you up by one each arm and take you over to the warehouse. One of them opens the door. Inside, it's fucking dark. They put you in there. Wait here, says one of them pointing at the ground at your feet. Yeah, we're okay. right here. They close okay. The door. Um, darkness. I'm assuming this is not a prestige mod. Who can say? I have no idea what you guys are going to end up doing today. So <laughs> I, I mean, it's it, you guys could just do something different. I don't know. <laughs> I, probably not. But you guys, can yeah, yeah, shit. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you may abandon this and go slaughter Ambrites for all I fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not so, you're standing there in there, complete darkness. What do you do, Pete? <laughs> the lights go on, and there's a whole shitload of cops in here, and they all yell, surprise! And there's, like, birthday cake, and they start saying, <laughs> happy birthday to you, and pushing over a cake. Give me a spot hidden roll, uh, Pete. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, where are we? Spot. Meanwhile, it shows you frantically trying to get a cab. No, I need a cab. No, no, no. God. You uh, hate, critical. I'm very, uh, you see like a chalk outline of a couple of people and somebody else notices you looking, and you go, and they go, do you know what it costs to rent a hall? Clap you up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no problem. I, they, they're like, oh, yeah. They're, and people are telling you how happy they are to see you. And eventually, they. I will see if I see if any of them's got a phone I can borrow. They think that is funny. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's no, no, there's there no phone here. No, uh, I, I just want to make sure my new secretary knows I'm all right. He was a bit ah, panicky. Be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> right, uh, they eventually call for a speech. They're like, "Come on, Richard, give us a speech." They stick all you right. on it. Uh, the same two cops that drove you here apparently like, mm -hmm. came in through their door. They come on put you onto a chair and everybody claps and they're like, eh. and they're all staying around looking for that cool birthday boy, motivational speech. Give me an empathy roll. Uh, empathy. Uh, oh, by the way, at least five different people told you, you really look like shit right now and you should do something. About it. Uh, Thank negative God 30. Power, thinking. Yes. Um, negative 30 on the empathy. Got it. Uh, you, uh, this, a lot of this guy's close friends are in the audience. Yep, 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 yep. And so, what do you say for your birthday speech? It's good to see you all here. I'm, I'm very happy to see some of my friends here, and I'll nod towards some of them. They um, smile. Yeah, and it, you. you know, I've had, I've had some ups and downs. I mean, as some of you know, with um, Simpson. Uh, there's a lot of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of muttering of bitch and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, yeah. I've tried to make. She's still on the force and stuff, so you know, don't talk too bad about her uh, uh, sister in blue. One of them says. No, no I just said. Yeah. <laughs> no, I met I met Harvey. Harvey's like, <laughs> I didn't call her a cunt. One of the arm female cops slaps <laughs> on his shoulder. <laughs> but yes, um, um, yes, um, you you have brought joy to my heart. Um, oh. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you all, and enjoy the cake. Yay! They, you're given some cake and stuff like that, and um. The guy in a wheelchair, black guy in a wheelchair, older dude, he mm -hmm. comes up. He's got like one of those fancy electric wheelchairs. And he says, so have you been preparing your testimony? Um, trying to. Well, better have it down when, when it goes to trial in a couple of days. Put mm -hmm. Bishop behind bars. 
you're the only person to give us an eyewitness account of that. Without that, he's too slippery. Well, strange you should mention that he's a couple of his goons paid a visit just before you before you turned up. They're probably trying to either bribe, blackmail, or kill you. Yeah, so I suspect depending on how I answered them, if if um you guys hadn't have turned up, I there may have things may I may not be here I may not have been here to enjoy the cake. Ah. Well, thank goodness you are, but we all know you know how to handle yourself, he says. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll see you. Don't don't be late to the courthouse in two days. He says. Mm -hmm. He nods. Off he goes. Right. Eventually, uh, uh, you're you're going nuts right now, uh, Freddie. <laughs> um, especially when uh, you uh, give me a listen roll. This is during the party and stuff because you, you can't break free for a while. How long does the damn tattoo take? <laughs> <laughs> they may never come. Welcome uh, to the no. before Uber. Uh, no problem. Uh, the front door is uh, like slowly opening. I stand near the, uh, 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 you're back in the guy's like office. Um, there's the bathroom, you, downstairs bathroom, small one, not a shower or anything, just a toilet. Uh, and then there's the door that goes to the stairs up to the apartment. And the door that was supposed to be fucking locked, did you lock it? You're not sure, is opening. I like hide behind the stairwell door and just walk. No problem. You see the two large goons are uh, kind of slipping in. And uh, they look at the uh, uh, blinds and see that they're down, and they're like, "Yeah." And they lock the front door, and they both take out large guns, and look around. Uh, I I creep upstairs. I'm not making noise. Give me a big time stealth roll. Um, even though my stealth is pretty high, I'm gonna play my skill five. Okay. No, skill 10. Ooh. And I'll play... Do you want me to play an assistant plus 10 on you? I think Unfortunately, I'll... you're not in any kind oh, actually, of... Actually, I was going to say, or, or I cannot, can I? Yeah. It's overkill anyway, I think. Yeah. But, um... So I've got to reduce down anyway, so... What to get rid of? Oh, Freddy. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I, I, I played that. Yes, it is. You slink up the stairs, and uh, the only bad thing is when you get to the top, the dog goes, woof. <sighs> and one of the guys, um, hold on, let me check something here. What was that? I heard a dog or something upstairs. Let's check it out. When I was upstairs before, was there a fire escape going out the room? Fire escape, no, but there are plenty of windows and stuff. Uh, it is on the second floor, but it's not terribly high. Uh, I'm going to grab Baby and, like, try and, like, hush him, like, put my mouth over his mouth. My hand over his mouth. Not my mouth over his mouth. And, um... It starts making gonna, weird noises now. I'm going to, like, try and, like, climb out the window with the dog. All right. Uh, it, unfortunately, if you're going to be carrying a dog, you're going to be at a negative uh, uh, fifteen percent for anything that you're doing. Is it worth it? I can't. I love dogs. I can't leave the dog. Um, <laughs> is there like a, um, a dumpster and just toss the dog into? Well, uh, unfortunately, uh, no, and also uh, they've determined dumpsters are super fucking dangerous to jump into. Okay. I make sure of that myself by putting in boards with nails in case anybody tries to jump into one. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll climb out with the dog. All right, give me a uh, climb roll at negative 15 and a jump at negative 15. You're doing the hang drop thing. If you make it, you, then you're definitely going to be maybe okay. Just maybe. I made the climb. Excellent. You've gotten out and stuff, yes. 
I'll play my skill five on this one. Excellent. I'm glad you made your climb. Otherwise, you and the dog would have just tumbled out the window, <laughs> which is funny in a way, I guess. I failed to jump. No problem. Uh, you end up uh, taking very mild damage, uh, but give me a mm, dodge at full maneuver dex roll in order to protect the dog from the fall because you can suck it up, but the dog probably doesn't have many hit points. Oh, yeah, definitely. I want to protect the dog. Yeah. You take uh, one reel, two stun, so a total okay. of three points. One real two stun. Land badly, but you're okay and you've got the dog. Uh, some kid standing there with his mouth open as he he's wandering by. He's got a big bag of newspapers, you think they're called? It's in the old days when they would send out uh, information. Uh, uh, I'm not that bad, all right? Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to just try and like slink away in the opposite direction from where the goons came in. Uh, give me a goal to try to be nondescript as you okay. hurry off with the dog. And of course, the special gold coin that seems to be uh, what some people might be after. Yeah. Or it's just this guy's really got an elaborate thing of what a dog calls uh -huh. me. You just, you do the, the, the born identity escape where like the kid's watching you go and it shows a car go by and then you're just gone. The kid's like, oh. <laughs> so meanwhile, Pete, you finally managed to, uh, uh, after spending like a half an hour, 45 minutes at the party and stuff, you've gotten to a point where uh, uh, people are starting to drift away. You could probably drift away if you wanted to. Okay. I'll need to get someone to give me a lift back. No problem. They're happy to drive you back. Uh, Freddie, uh, uh, send me a whisper as to where you're actually going to hang out. Um, yeah, okay. Cool. Go ahead and give me a whisper. I just want to know where you're hanging out because it's obvious that you have no idea where to find him. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll give you a card for that. Just take a card. So, Pete. On the drive back, yep. I'm going to say, so what do you think about this whole bishop situation? He's a bad one, says one of the formerly taciturn cops. They they were just doing that to fuck with you yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah. as cops do. He's a bad one. Uh, I've heard he's into drugs and all that shit, killing people and stuff. But mm -hmm. he's never personally involved with anything normally. But you'll get the goods on him. In just two days, he'll be going down. Down to the ground, says the air cop. And they do that kind of banter shit for a while. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, so back to your place then? Yep, yep. Certainly right. is an interesting situation, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm real sorry she died, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what they say. The air cop goes, you don't know what they say. He's like, I was trying to reassure him. And said, Thanks for fucking it up. And he's like, eh. Right. They drop you, uh, you get out, and uh, your place is there in front of you. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Sure. I'm concerned that those, um... can you just give me five minutes? Just wait here five minutes. Those goons seem to have a, as I said, as I mentioned, I, actually I didn't mention to you two, I mentioned to you the other one. Um, just before you turned up, some of Bishop's goons were at the front door. Oh. Do you think they might be inside? Well, I don't know. I don't know if they're, they're waiting for me to come back and then when you guys drive away, they they come back again. Or Actually, do a block. Yeah, I'll tell you what, why don't you, why don't you stay here? They call for backup. All right. I was just going to say, drop me off. You guys drive away, but loop around so it looks like you've left. No, no, see no. If they can reappear. Sit in the car. We'll take okay. care of it. Okay. Six cruisers fucking show up. They go in. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they go in. Later, two goons come out in cuffs. <laughs> we're waiting for him and stuff. And they're like, yep, he wasn't expecting you. And then you 
the two goons, I'll go down to the station and give me a bureaucracy role as you're expected to know how to fill out the paperwork for helping to <laughs> put these guys in, like signing complaints and stuff. Normally they give instruction and things like that or do it for you, but you're not for years. And so they know you know how to fill it out. Yep. I do I do a bunch I don't fumble, but I don't do a particularly good Give me, give me a luck roll. Yeah, hang on a second. I just need to downgrade cards. <laughs> I was wanting to see if to trade Freddy if he had good cards, but looks like Well, we're not in contact though. No, exactly. So I'm trying yeah. to work out which card's the best card to get rid of. The cops tell you they're charging these guys for criminal trespass, uh, carrying of um, uh, uh, weapons, all that kind of shit. Yeah, I was so, going to say, yeah. No, I was going to say, we're not doing licensed weapons. And... Oh, yeah, they can buy by now. Of course, they deny working for Bishop, but everybody kind of knows that maybe they do. And assumedly, they'll run ballistics on the guns and maybe mm. find some interesting matches. Who can say? Yeah. All right. I'll get rid of the assistant. I'll get rid of that one. It's, I didn't want to. The, the cop, you know, even though you're like, right. I'll go in and you guys, no, nope. no, nope. you sit in the car. Yeah. All right. Now. It was a luck roll, wasn't it? Uh huh. Lower is better. All right. Hang on a second. I will spend, uh, I think I've got a school 15. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yep. Yeah, I'll spend a school 15 on it. Uh, just make it nothing special, unfortunately. Cops insult your paperwork for a while. They help you do it. You're always shit at paperwork. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> eventually, you you uh, register your complaint. They take care of the guys. They they take you to the place, but they don't open the back doors. The back doors don't open from the inside. They mm -hmm. send people in to double check to make sure nobody's yeah, hanging yeah. out there. Then they let you out of your car. Time Thank is you. passed. Freddy, you're you're standing I'm outside of the building that you yeah. put down because you're not allowed inside with the dog. Yeah. There's That's also fine. a leash lock, so that means you're holding the dog because you yeah. don't have a leash. Um, <laughs> you're just standing there looking like some crazed homeless guy in too big of clothes with the dog that he might be eating later. <laughs> um. All right, so I shall I'll get. I shall, yeah, I shall. Once once they've done, I'll go inside and assume they would have mentioned if Freddie was there. Obviously, they said uh, we found these two guys and this young no, Asian, no, they didn't, they didn't, which they didn't, didn't mention. So yeah. So now it's the game of where are the other PCs? I'll get back yes. to you, Freddie. Let's see if Holmes can figure it out because there's a clever. Well, you're here. the detective, so come on, do the yeah, I'll, I'm going to be going to the library because that's probably where you are because we talked about going there in the morning. You walk up, you see him outside and the guy <laughs> he's talking to some other guy and the other guy's like, so you're homeless, huh? You need some money, huh, for food? For the so, dog, maybe. <laughs> he says, eat the dog and we'll talk. He walks off. <laughs> right. Uh, Holmes comes wandering up. Oh, there you are. I was mm -hmm. worried. Apparently, it, he is a, it was a surprise birthday party from the police. Apparently, I'm oh. still, even though I've left the police force, so I'm still in the in the good books. Oh, mm -hmm. I was wondering why they said that you don't work there. I called them and they said you don't work. Yeah, yeah, I don't work there, but um, I'm I'm st I've still got a lot of friends on the police force. Okay. And and those two hired goons came back and they were apparently waiting inside the building. Yeah, so I noticed. I had to jump out the window. Yeah, so they've been, they've been arrested. Good. So, um, um yeah. and apparently I'm to testify about Bishop in two days' time. Oh. And somebody think, I know is dead. Do you think he's the one who killed you? Or not you. Yes, I assume so. He assume he's trying to take me out of the picture, so I don't testify. Wait, wait. If mm, if you if they if he had you killed, why would he send his goons after you for an offer? Because I assume he didn't know I was dead. Ah, 
no further. Um, so what so I'd like to go in and check the papers because apparently to see if what we can find because the the newspapers because one of one of the cops said I'm oh, real sorry she's dead. Uh, okay. And I don't know who they're. Do you think that might be e Bank? Could be yes. Mm. And I'm wondering if Riker is the first name for Bishop, as in Riker Bishop. Oh yeah, that could be. Yeah. Welcome to detective skills. Have an air card. <laughs> so. All right. Um, what, so, what yeah, do I do? So with him? I point to the dog. Contact him. Right. Uh, good question. The, I mean, he seemed to be all right at the house. Yeah. Do you want me to go and take him back there? Or? Yeah. Yeah. All right. If you want to do that, and I'll start researching. Yes, you uh, do the book stuff. I'll do the non-book stuff. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go leave baby back at the apartment, like leave him a bottle of water, some food, and then I'll go back to the library. And walk all the way back to the apartment. How long is it to the back to the apartment? You'll be back to the library in an hour, hour and a half, something like that. I'm assuming Joshua will have something by then, so. Yes, yes. Fuck him and his books. I understand. <laughs> yeah. No problem. You, you go for a walk with the dog. Unfortunately, you have to carry the dog, and he wants down. Uh, is there like a yeah. nearby pawn shop I can buy a leash real quick? It shows you outside the same fucking pawn shop that you always go to and you look <laughs> up at the thing. Yeah, I'm just going in like... I still have a, a few... At fifty dollars or something on me. I think it's sixty-eight dollars. Uh, yeah, sixty-eight. But I paid a bit for the payphone, so. Ah, well, that's five, less maybe. than a dollar. It's like yeah, a quarter sure. or something. Yeah, and I'll buy this for the dog from the pawn shop if they have one. Uh yeah. Uh, three dollars later, you now have a leash for the dog. The uh, same guy that you always sell gold to looks at you with contempt. He looks at everybody with contempt, though. <laughs> So it's not really a change for you. You kind of feel like old times. All right, cool. Yeah, I know. I'll walk the dog back to the apartment and all that. It seems much happier. It takes you. It'll take you uh, an extra uh, twenty minutes because the dog wants to stop and smell everything, and he's not smelling it right. It's over here. He's over there. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right. So, uh, meanwhile, McKay, you're in the library. What is it you're wanting to do? I'm going to start with the newspapers because they mentioned about real sorry she's dead. So if someone's been killed, it's going to be in the papers. Mm -hmm. uh, no problem. Give me a research roll at full. The only thing it takes is lots of time. But you have that because, you know. Yeah. Dog. Uh, now it's library slash research, isn't it? Mm-hmm. There she is. Yes. Of course. Nothing special, but... You feel back in your element. Uh, you remember the fondly the broad sheets of the 19th century you also lived in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, there was uh, some uh, lady named Elza Banks. Yep, told you, Freddie. Who was uh, apparently blown up in a car. Um Foul play was uh, suspected due to the amount of explosives in the car. Normally, it, the amount of explosives in the car exceeded uh, the normal factory amount of explosives that they put in those sort of cars. And it wasn't a Pinto. Had it been a Pinto, the case may have been dismissed outright. But um, apparently, uh, this this uh, other guy. Um, sorry, go. That's all right. You might answer my question. Okay, this other guy named uh, Riker Bishop, who's like uh, powerful. <laughs> you just nod along. It's like, yes, yes. Uh, apparently, he's being charged with it, but um, in the past, uh, give me an air research role for a bit more specialized information. <laughs> Excuse oh, me. And another thing. So, yeah, just give me yep, a research yep. role to have me continue prattling on. Um, Freddie comes rolling up about the time you're doing the second library research role because as you remember from the old COC days, Christ, this kind of research is slow. 
Yep, I have. Ah, yes. Okay. Well, as far as you can tell, nothing about the coin is brought up here. Um, mm. The cells of banks had apparently uh, uh, been getting some, uh, uh, it's suspected by like the investigative reporters, remember back when you could trust the press more, um, that uh, she may have been digging for uh, information and hired an outside consultant. She was digging for information to uh, um, help send uh, Riker Bishop to jail. And it's suspected that, you know, Riker Bishop caught on to her doing this and uh she blew up and um so it's gonna it say what she, sorry you were saying about her digging for information did it say that she was what she was a reporter or no, she was a no she was his girlfriend or mistress okay and uh uh so yeah and then uh, uh she blew up oh. so uh, this Riker Bishop, uh, from what you can find out, nobody's saying it directly in the newspapers because of libel, uh, but apparently he's involved in a lot of shady shit. And so, um, yeah, he, he's, he's a great A scumbag. He can probably mm -hmm. use a bullet or two. But it doesn't say anything about the coin at all. Mm, strange that at all yeah that does not surprise me very well uh right you it's assumably it's been stolen from him and he's not exactly going to tell the police or tell the press that he's had a coin stolen from him uh freddie you roll up holmes is sitting there behind this giant pile of different newspapers and shit looking at you give me an empathy roll freddie you do know see he is getting some looks from other patrons like are you okay? In fact, he gets asked that about once every 20 minutes. Somebody will come up and ask if he's okay. Yeah, no, it's got a bit of a cold. Mm -hmm. They think it may be flu, possibly deadly, and you should go to the <laughs> hospital. Um, no. Right. Freddie, um, Holmes is looking at you in the kind of smug you know, way, like he's just had everything he's ever thought validated by what's in all these dead trees in front of him. So yes, when you when you when you stooped away, Logan, I said to I said to Freddie that I'm assuming the dead woman is Banks and Riker is probably Riker Bishop. Yeah, we, we kind of <laughs> so yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you didn't find anything on the C O I N. No. <laughs> <laughs> it just had a little kid going by. He's like, I hate adults so much. You also no. do a bunch of sexy teenagers over there, like in the library, doing the normal teenager thing and stuff. Um, but they seem unusually good looking, and uh, they seem to be posturing and doing their own deal, completely ignoring the strange people who are actually reading things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the things. Anyway. Um, yep, that, that's, this is Shermer. <laughs> I Eula. Can, um, Eula. <laughs> I don't think he knows that reference. No. Are there any books? Yes, about you're so ancient, What? Oh, about sorry. coins or some shit like that? Uh, possibly, but you have no idea how you would actually find any one specific book. In I'll this. go to the library and I'll ask her. Okay. Oh, right. Um, he comes back looking really irritated, holding a book on like coin collecting for beginners. He looks at you like, um, do you have anything more, I don't know, uh, historical kind of? I understand. Coin collecting for advanced coin collectors. Just, just give me everything you have on coin. She says, ah, uh, we give me an empathy roll. <laughs> Not failed. We only have those books. She seems really in this giant library. Mm hmm. She says, "Those after you read those, come back. Maybe I can find something else then." I'll just go use the computer. It's fine. Here you oh, go. Um, good here idea. Go, 
I handed it in the two books. All right. She puts them in the reshelving cart. No, yeah, no, no. He said he handed me the books. Oh, him. Right. Yeah. Dick, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Holmes, I, shall, I shall look at the Dewey Decimal System reference on him and go to the shelf and get the other books. All these point. fucking <laughs> books over there. She didn't want to reshelve all the books, and he obviously had no idea yeah. what he was looking for. So, yeah. Lazy. I, I shall, yeah, I, I shall look. Give me a research uh, roll. Yeah, yeah. Um, because of you, because of the writing on the coin looks Latin, I'll I might look at Roman. I'll start with Roman right. era coins, but that may be a yeah. a mislead. Yeah. It Give me a also be old. Roll half, as it is something that's fooling you. Oh yeah, I was going to say, but that could actually be a misnomer. It could be old English, or something like that. Uh, research role at half library use. Uh, oh wait, you can you can make it at full if you can make a linguistics role first. Yes, yes. Good. Himself may know more than Pete does. That's right. Exactly. That's the thing. My character may know about the Latin or whatever on mm -hmm. it. Ready. Give me a computer roll to make the computer work. It's There's not, okay. Right now, as a lot of kids are on their computers doing things on bulletin boards, uh, right. one of them seems to be trying to uh, uh, download a sexy picture of somebody. Ah, it, it, this one will work. And good. Well, uh, um, go ahead and give me a uh, research. Oh, wait, do you know what you're looking for? Just coins? Yeah, like um, basically the, the same kind of um, like Roman or Latin gold coin kind of currencies. Give, give me a research roll at half. Uh, oh, okay. it, it plus there's not a lot as many images, and the images that they have take a little while to uh, load. And on top of that, because the internet's not quite as good in this zone as in real life in the year two thousand. And on top of that, there's no image search or any of that useful shit. Okay. There's a lot of bulletin boards, though. This is the age of the bulletin board, so, you know, no pictures. Um, would it be possible for me to, like, basically lock everyone out of the computers and just have my computer be the one able to use the internet? Like basically, like I would send a. Uh, I understand. Yeah, a hacking role to try to block everybody else out. Yeah, just to speed my shit up, basically. I understand. No computer for you, only for me. Yeah. Yep. Uh, hacking, sorry, no. But you're still at the problem where there's not. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to speed it up. You begin locking out people who then go and complain to the desk, and then the desk people come over and they try their abysmal computer skills. Turning it off and then on again doesn't seem to be doing it. And so uh, they, they say, well, uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to have to uh, close down all the computers. And they kick you off the computer <laughs> because they close them all because what? they don't no. understand. Think it's a virus. My computer works fine. Go away. Oh, no, I'm sorry, sir. Give me a fast talk roll to not get kicked off the computer. Because <laughs> uh, this what? is the age where computers are kind of like witchcraft. And if something bad's happening, it's a virus. And they're that terrified. That makes no logical sense. Exactly. Okay. I have no computer skill here. Give me a fast talk roll to retain your seat. Fast talk. Wow. Okay. Well, if you if you see a little box come up and it says yes, no, click no. They tell you. No, you don't click anything. What are you an idiot? No, oh wait. <laughs> Leave me alone. I have work to do. Bunch of uh, kids look at you with hatred because uh, all their everybody's computer stopped working, but yours. Holmes, how's your research roll in half? Um. So you were saying about linguistics. I've actually got Latin. <laughs> Can I try a Latin role to work out? Latin role to see. Is it really Latin? Or yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Is it really Latin sure. on it? And because especially it's got Roman, the Roman numerals on it as well, yeah, which exactly don't Roman quite numerals. make. Yeah, which don't quite make sense <laughs> from how they normally should flow for Latin. I agree. And this coin is actually the correct time period and all that. I did do research on it. Yeah. Ah, so. It is not 
Latin. Beautiful. So I won't look at Latin. Can um, I'll ask, I will ask Freddy if I can have a look at the coin again. You see Freddy over there and he's like hunched over his computer and there's some kids near him going, you're going to be much longer. You're going to be much longer. You're going to be much longer. <laughs> look. Freddie, can, look I have, um, Freddy, can I have a look at, the, look at it again, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, kids are standing there, like, just hovering around him. Um, there, there, will be, there will be a toilets here if you need. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, it's in my pocket. Just take it. The kids look at you. <laughs> they look at Freddy. They look at the big dude who looks really ill and the short Asian younger guy with bad acne and stuff and who's asking the big guy to reach into his pocket. The kids are looking a bit like... Yeah, I was going to say, can you get it out? Uh, fine. I know that out, but I keep my hand so it covers it so it doesn't show yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you, you do the... Hand it to him. Hand it to him. The kids are all like... Give me a plus one... plus 30, Freddy, not to uh, do the whoopsie-daisy type thing where the kids go, ha-ha, because they're really looking hard. They are completely fascinated. There's at least four little fuckers. One of them was one that, oh, no, huh. it's... <laughs> no problem. They're not even what? sure you gave him anything. They're waiting for the pass off. I, I, I will wander off. Something. Yeah, I'll right. wander off. I'll find away from them, find a spot where, I mean, it's a library. There'll be plenty of nooks corners and have yeah. another look at the coin if you All could right. bring it up again please there you go <clears throat> that's what i thought <laughs> and take card freddie i had no idea that uh, uh freddie was that slick at uh the coin toss thing very nice. i mean i am kind of a criminal only a criminal of our hearts. And the computer internet, you bastard. Look, there'll be plenty of time for them to look at, like, boobs and stuff later. The kids continue glaring at you. They, they haven't quite gotten... Uh, apparently, on these computers, the boobs are made from, like, asterisks. <laughs> <laughs> this is a shit internet. Uh, yeah, plus but, you... Uh, Library yeah. research roll in half, so you're not right. you're not having thank, any. Thank fun. you. All right, yes, I'll put the coin away and then go to the books, and I will look around sixteen thirty. Uh huh. That narrows it down. Can you give me a rough country thing, or perhaps even a continent? You're well, ju judging by the reef, I would say Greece. That would be my nah. guess. No. Nah. So, it's not Greek writing. It's Anglo. It's ro romanticized Roman, you know, Latin, whatever you want to call it, style writing, which makes Might it more Euro which which yeah. makes it more European because they're yeah. all, you know, they've all come from Latin. So it's um, probably not English. So it's I don't think the Spanish did that sort of stuff. I don't know if it'd be German. I can't really remember about the German stuff. What, maybe Roman? Uh, Roman? Because, of, because of the particular numbers on there, I'm going to go with France and look at Louis the Fourteenth. Give me a library research roll at plus 20, Pete. Because it's got the 14 on it, so which makes me think Louis the Fourteenth, And I think he was around the 17th century off the top of my head. Yeah, give me a library research. Ah! Yeah. And I might actually spend a hero point on that because oh far out. Logan's been feeding me lots of cards. I don't even see the fourteen down. X I I I I. Oh is that? Okay. Yeah. I thought that was a name. Okay. I see it now, yeah. Yeah, you see it? And you see the sixteen thirty at the base Nobody of the like fourteen like that. It's yeah, they do. IV. No, oh, I know exactly. IV. Yeah, it's supposed to be XIV, and that's what threw me initially. Oh, okay. 
but it's 14 and you can just make out these little dots after there's a dot after the 14 and then a d and then another dot and a g to break up yeah. the writing yeah <clears throat> but yeah because it's a 14 that's what made me think of maybe louis the 14. Uh, I'll be back in a sec. All right, no, go for it, dude. All right, since Logan's away. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, well. Sorry, six more mads, Turkish. No, that's right. If you could put it back to the discard pile again, I need to go down some cards. What happened to Freddy? He, because you stepped away, he stepped away. I've got to play immediately, which is effects of a dissolute lifestyle, but uh, yeah. I do not have insanity for drug or alcohol addiction. Cool. So I shall get rid of that. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, roll 20, Freddy. What? Do you have, yeah, you dropped out of roll 20. Uh, I'm still here. Hey. Oh, there you are. You're back again. Do you have any rubbish cards? Um, I have a couple, yeah. All right, because I've got some decent cards. Yeah. Should I just discard mine and? Yeah, discard, discard. Um. I'll discard. Uh, two. If you can discard two. Yeah. two. yeah, I'll discard two. All right. So I'll trade you that one, which may come in handy for our current situation. And uh, you know your library research roll to plus twenty. Holy yeah, shit. <laughs> that I'm going to play a helpful librarian, which is why I was trying to get my hand down. Ah. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I gave you one as well, Freddie. I had two. Of them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Right. This coin is called a French Lever. It's from the year 1650 during the reign of Louis the Sun King. It was stolen, this particular coin was stolen a year ago from a museum in New York. The American Numazic Society. Hold on, I'll put that into the chat so you can figure out the spelling Thank on you. your own. Chunk. Numazic, uh, okay, yeah. Can't pronounce that. Uh, while on loan, while the coin it disappeared from the New York, while the coin was on loan from the Louvre, the coin's value is estimated here at about five million dollars due to various oh. historical shit. What was? And which is slightly better price, Freddie, than you might be able to get for it at the pawn shop. Um, <laughs> uh, the uh What's the reward on it i'm assuming there is a reward for information take a, take a card yes there is uh the current reward is a cool half a million dollars as a thank you oh. <laughs> if you wanted to return it um and let's see mm. so how long ago was it stolen from new york a year one year, yeah. One year. Oh, and by the way, at, at a pawn shop, this coin would be worth at least two hundred dollars. So if you want to do what Freddie wanted to do, <laughs> you get a quick two, like in your hand now, within an hour, you get that two hundred dollars. <laughs> no problem. They'd be happy to give that to you. They probably would just go and melt it down. Uh, all right. uh, also, uh, did could you read the helpful librarian card to me? uh play after failing a library research role turns a failed library use role into a success got it 
So also there's uh, there's supposedly some special mystical stuff to the coin, but it doesn't go into details in these books that you have here. All right. Does the does the coin feel funky or mystical or magical or? Give me an essence times two. Who knows? Pika's and stretches out the coin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Not to you, it doesn't. Yep, that's right. Maybe if you touch it to Freddy's head or something, you know. Mm, maybe I've got to swallow it or eat the chocolate inside it. Uh -huh. <laughs> that chocolate must be worth quite a bit of money. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Louis the 14th chocolate, wow. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> I oh, uh, Freddy, uh, what, what yeah. are you doing? Oh, I failed my role, so after a while, I'm, I'll be like, eh, can't find anything. I'll, I'll uh, do a lot of crazy moving the world. Oh, okay. Pardon me. Yeah. All right, so yes, if we hand it in for a reward, we get a lot of money. If we can find some private collector, we'd potentially get even more money. But well, I think that, like I'm obviously we'll get more if we went down the less, um, you know, legal route. But I think we, if, if I were you, I would just turn it in because we, you know. It's easy money. Yes. Yeah. But the issue is we're currently not in our bodies. So yes. if we turn it in, then it's... Well, the we don't have to do it right us. now. Yeah, mm -hmm. so Wait we need until to... We're we... back then. Yeah. yeah, but we might... But then if we leave this place, we may not take with us what we've got on us because of the nature uh, of how we've arrived here. Well, what we'll do then is we'll open the bank account. Yes, and we one need of to our put names. it somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. But then again, we've got the issue that the bank account's going to be in somebody else's name. But we'll have access to it, so it's fine. How? Like, we'll just say that one of us is like a not a benefactor, like has access to the account, like a joint they'll account. They'll need the, they'll need the identification of that person. Really? Yes, really. Why? Because <laughs> that's the way banks work. I they hate don't just. Banks. You can't just say, and just put Joe Blog's name down there. Oh, sure. Anybody who turns up and call Joe Blog, right, right, right. give a message. Um, <laughs> well, we do yeah, have... Banks don't work that way, unfortunately. Um, uh, you, there's, um, what if we just got it all in cash and just put it away somewhere? 